Indian Railways is the lifeline of the nation. Every day, more than 23 million people travel and over 3 million tons of goods is moved from one place to another on Indian Railway network. However, the saturation on the network has become one of the biggest challenges in operation of passenger and goods trains. India's golden quadrilateral connecting four metropolitan cities with its diagonals is the worst affected. It is just 16% of the total rail network but carries nearly 60% of total freight traffic. The growth in transport demand is a derived demand and is directly correlated with growth in GDP. Growth in GDP in the country is leading to requirement for further augmentation in environment-friendly transport capacity. Considering these aspects, a momentous decision was taken by Government of India for establishing a special purpose vehicle named Dedicated Freight Corridor Corporation of India Limited, DFCCIL for construction, operation and maintenance of dedicated freight corridors. In the first phase, two dedicated freight corridors, namely Eastern and Western dedicated freight corridors, passing through nine states and 61 districts of India with a total route length of more than 3,340 kilometers have been approved. With the release of the capacity on the existing network by transfer of uh, freight on dedicated freight corridor, we will be able to improve the speeds on the existing network. The DFC will come up with several distinct features which will be first time in Indian Railways. The length of goods train will be increased from 700 meters to 1500 meters. Gross capacity of trains will go up to 13,000 tons from the current 5,500 tons. Maximum speed of goods trains will increase to 100 kilometers per hour as against the current maximum speed of 75 kilometers per hour on Indian Railways. Average speed of freight trains will also be increased from the current speed of 26 km to 70 km per hour. Western DFC will facilitate running of double stack container trains under electric traction. Significant increase in volumetric and net carrying capacity of wagons. Scheduled timetable trains encouraging supply chain management. Low operation and maintenance cost. These special features will help in diversion of traffic, particularly from non-bulk segment from road to DFC network. It will be pertinent to mention that one DFC train will take away 1300 trucks off the road and will help in saving fuel, congestion and possible accidental hazards on road. In addition, DFC will have major positive impact on preservation of environment also. According to a study carried out by DFCCIL, it is estimated that diversion of traffic to DFC will lead to significant savings in emission of carbon dioxide. In first 30 years of operation with DFC, there will be about 2.5 times less greenhouse gas emissions on the eastern DFC and 6 times less emissions on the western DFC in the set period. The construction of dedicated freight corridors with electric traction is very much environment friendly as this will eliminate release of 457 million ton of carbon dioxide which would have been released had the DFC not been constructed. Environmental impact assessment conducted by DFCCIL for both the corridors have revealed negligible impact on the habitat of water bodies wildlife, flora and fauna, ambient air quality, soil and no significant noise and vibration pollution during construction of DFC. As a good environment management practice, land acquisition including forest land diversion have been kept minimum possible. DFCCIL has been undertaking regular studies on environmental impacts. A study on cumulative impact assessment of Eastern DFC done for the first time in India has forecasted sustainable development with implementation of the project. DFCCIL has taken many initiatives to preserve the environment. Establishment of social and environment management unit and deployment of engineer. 
installation of solar power units at various locations along the corridors, plantation of more than 50,000 trees along the corridors, development of safety, health and environment manual. One of the major factors in train operation is energy efficient train driving. DFCCIL has also undertaken an energy optimization study which will help in saving 8 to 10 percent energy and thereby reducing the carbon footprint significantly. DFC Corridors of Sustainable Development that cares for nature.